Good evening. Nine News can reveal the AFL has demanded millions more of the Adelaide Oval football profits be handed to the Crows and Power amid concerns the local league and stadium management have pocketed too much. Negotiations over the new deal have collapsed, prompting even the Premier to intervene. They were the best of mates when a deal was done to bring AFL to the city. But after a hugely successful opening season at the redeveloped Adelaide Oval, negotiations over a bigger slice of match day profits for the Crows and Power have broken down. Nine News understands the AFL is now demanding the local league, the SANFL, and the Stadium Management Authority deliver a better deal for SA's AFL clubs, citing the 50% surge in attendances since the move to Adelaide Oval, which brought a near $12 million economic boost for football. Of that, the SANFL has pocketed $4 million, $2 million more than predicted, while the club's income fell short of the targets. A frustrated Premier adding his voice to the AFL's call during a meeting with SANFL and stadium bosses today. I've made it very clear that I expect agreement to be reached. Did you put the hard word on them about that? Absolutely. While the local league and stadium management say they're pushing for a fair deal, it's believed the SANFL has used its extra earnings to pay off debt, a bone of contention for the Crows and Power, who want $2.5 million more each season. While the Premier says he's reluctant to intervene, he hasn't ruled out changing laws to force independent management of the stadium. I'm not ruling anything out uh, or in at the moment. I just wanted people to know precisely where I stood on the matter. The man who oversaw the half billion dollar stadium rebuild calling for the Crows and Power to have a hand in running the stadium. I think the biggest flaw is that we don't have the two clubs represented it in a transparent way in understanding uh, what's, what's happening at the Oval. Eddie Godfrey. Nine News.